Hello, welcome back. ECM. Yeah, we, we cover quite some ECM in the, uh, right now at the channel, but, but, but mostly I talk about the Luminescence series, with, which has been incredible so far. But today I want to talk about a huge November batch. They put out quite some brand new titles in November, six of them, quite impressive. And yeah, I want to get through those uh, uh, six records. I ordered them, got them, and listened to them. And yeah, let me let me start before I forget everything I've listened to the last two days. And yeah, let's start. Let's start with my favorite out of this uh, November. Let's call it November batch. I think they do two, maybe three of those batches. They put out a lot at the same time. Probably economic reasons, if you do uh, quite some of them, it might be uh, uh, more cost effective. And so November has seen six. And yeah, from this batch, my favorite is the Arald Andersen Group Affirmation. Here you have the jacket. Typical, typical uh, ECM design, in my opinion. You know, you just don't need to know. You can see it when you see those kind of designs that this is an ECM release. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's beautiful, beautiful, folkish, avant-gardistic, great sounding music by the Harold Anderson group and, and it's jazzy, folky, sometimes out there, but in a very, very good way. In my opinion, you don't get or they don't get lost in their own, oh, let's go further and further out of, 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 of real music. So very, very, very uh, uh, well performed and, and played and engineered and, and recorded music. Beautiful one, absolute highlight. It was recorded in, 19, in, in 2021 in Oslo in the Rainbow Studios. And yeah, this really, really got me, really got me. All those releases comes on silent, clean from the get-go. You see the label vinyl, so no complaints at all. So when I did my listening for the, at this time, I didn't clean them. I just didn't. I should, but I didn't. No time because I really wanted to put out this video finally. And so I just I went through them and yeah, great. Really cool. This is how it should be. The second, the second uh, record here on this, on this ECM badge is a well-known, well, well-known member of the, let's call it, ECM family. He, he makes records, uh, he does records since decades for, for ECM. And yeah, sometimes it's a little bit hit and miss, but this one is a hit. Talking about Stefan Mikus' Thunder. What I do like on this record, it's sometimes out there, but again, like, like with the Arild Andersen, it, you don't get lost. He, he doesn't overdo it. He always comes back to beautiful, folkish, avant-gardistic melodies and rhythms. I mean, look at, <laughs> look at the photo. Again, a typical, typical ECM jacket and, and a very, very, very good, interesting, well recorded record by Stefan Mingus, uh, 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 Mikus, not Mingus, Mikus, sorry. This one was recorded between 2020 and 2022. And yeah, as I said, this is for sure not a miss when it comes to the Stefan Mikus catalog. Well done, really like it. If you're into world avant-garde, folk, jazz, instrumental, a little bit experimental stuff. This is, this is really 
uh, record you should get into it comes with a with a nice little inlay here you can see this piece of paper with some uh, explanations really really cool highly recommend third one Niels Oekland Sigbjörn Apeland Glimmer again typical typical beautiful beautiful ECM jacket and what we have here is Scandinavian uh, folk music in my opinion uh, Nils Oekland uh, uh, plays on the Hardanger fiddle and the violin Siegbjörn Apeland on the harmonium very interesting folk music Scandinavian folk and, and, and needless to point this to say in a way those records are all very 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 well recorded and engineered so on this side there is no complaint they are, are all all of them are on the upper level none of them is on the breathtaking level we have to be careful with those formulations but, but really 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 good sounding records so I cannot ex uh, I cannot uh, uh, I don't think that there will be complaints about the sound of this this record all way 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 above level so if you are into Scandinavian folk music into the Hardanger fiddle the violin or the harmonium this is for sure for you I really really enjoyed it now we come to Marche Obara Quartet with Dominic Vanya, Ole Martin Wagan, Gerd Nielsen, Frozen, Silence. Again, beautiful jacket, beautiful jacket. And what we have here is Scandinavian jazz music. And I am not such a fan of, Scandina of this typical Scandinavian jazz music music for what whatever reason for me it's it's a bit too clinical don't shoot shoot it's it's just not my thing it's it's probably well very very well performed and 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 they for sure know their stuff but but this is just not the jazz i'm into right now and you know how it is in life this might change at some point but not for now we have Maciej Obara on the alto saxophone, Dominik Vanya on the piano, Ole Morten Wagan on double bass, Gart Nielsen on drums. If you are into this very famous and, and, and very popular, at least here in Europe, Scandinavian jazz, this for sure, for sure is for you. And you will probably say, what a great performance. I just love it. But not me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, the last, the sixth record of, of this batch. Oh, excuse me. Mm, I'm wrong. We have the fifth now. The fifth is Wolfgang Mutzspiel, Dance of the Elder. Very rhythm, rhythm driven, rhythmic uh, uh, folk, jazz, avant garde music. We have Wolfgang Mutzspiel on the guitars. We have Scott Colley on the double bass and Brian Blade on the drums. Typical, typical ECM stuff, a typical uh, Wolfgang Mutspiel release on ECM. Very, very well performed. Perfect artistry. Maybe a little bit too perfect, but perfect. Very, very well performed, recorded and engineered. You know, this is, this is this kind of music which is also somehow on the first listening for all those audiophile uh, um, hi-fi nerds this is what they quite often do love I like it but I don't love it so interesting release from from Wolfgang Mutspiel Dance of the Elders safe thing you know what I mean not spectacular not bad safe thing if you're into Wolfgang Mutspiel and yeah then then this is a no-brainer no-brainer 
last one now we are at the sixth, sixth release of the batch and this is now a double album and there I will uh, talk about two things first beautiful gatefold jacket second they used this opportunity and put the records between this gatefold I do love that I do like that that's how those records should be shipped very good very nice well done ECM the music John Co Schofield on guitar Vicenta Archer on double bass Bill Stewart on drums perfect art you know those guys know what they are doing they play together as if they play together for 30 years also uh, John Schofield very prolific artist great 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 guitar player beautiful release fantastic album you know this is the album you put on relax dive into the music and 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 just go with the flow it has a beautiful flow just go with it enjoy relax friday evening week is done this is your album in a way again a winner really highly recommended and again that they put them in in outside the sleeves i really uh, like that because that probably uh, 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 saved them a lot of trouble <laughs> nice done well very very well done yeah the whole batch six records now great job great work can't wait for the for the for the next one keep them coming i'm always happy that they also get more and more back into vinyl they, they, I, I think they never left a vinyl. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, all you ECM fans that are uh, into ECM for decades, I think, of course, they slowed down heavily, but they always put out the one or the other on vinyl, and now they are getting fully back on it, and, and that's what I really do appreciate. What I don't appreciate is that they still, that they still doesn't put out some of their releases on vinyl and that that is for a completionist a very very bitter pill please overthink that please put everything out on vinyl if possible <laughs> okay that's it for today thank you very much for your time and see you on the next one bye